The message of our presidency, as you are all aware, is that we are one earth, one family, and we share one future. This draws on an age-old belief of Vasudeva Kutumbaka. The entire proceedings of the New Delhi summit are in fact organized accordingly with three sessions devoted to each aspect of this theme. Now, reflecting this approach, we have consciously sought to make this G20 as inclusive and broad-based as possible. It is witnessing the participation of its, obviously, its 20 member states, nine invitee nations, and 14 international organizations. It is a matter of particular satisfaction for us that the African Union has this morning become a permanent member of the G20, that too during the Indian Presidency. This is in keeping with the priority that we attach to addressing the urgent concerns of the Global South. You would recall that at the beginning of our presidency, Prime Minister, at Prime Minister Modi's initiative, 125 nations were consulted to express the voice of the Global South. In terms of its organization and program, the Indian presidency, if I may say so, has been exceptional. Events have been spread across 60 cities, which are truly across the length and breadth of India. There has been a popular participation and a societal involvement of an extraordinary degree. The interest in G20 proceedings have been particularly strong among our youth. It has been an opportunity to showcase our culture, traditions and heritage as well. The G20 has contributed to making India world ready and the world India ready. Stay with the Times of India for news breaks, analysis, interviews and events. We bring you stories from your neighbourhood and from across the globe as well. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the like button and press the bell icon so you don't miss any of our videos.